Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about virtual agent and ATF. So this is a feature which was launched in Utah release and I am really excited about this feature because this will reduce a lot of time to test the topics or topic blocks for the developers because they wouldn't have to go in and test each and every topic during an upgrade or when they have made changes and waste their time on this and rather they can focus on some other activities. So this is an awesome feature I believe. So we will be going through what is an automated testing in virtual agent. Why do we need automated testing in virtual agent? How to create automated test for a topic. We will see a demo in that and managing tests for virtual agents. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardit Singh and I am working as a service not technical architect. I have 12 plus years of experience in IT and 8 plus years of experience in service now. So just connect with me on LinkedIn or YouTube or drop a message and I will be happy to get in touch with you. So what is automated testing in virtual agent? So automated testing in virtual agent is to test the topics, setup topic or small talks in service now. Basically, we will be testing our topics which we have created for our clients or for ourselves or maybe set up topics or small talks in an automated way so that nobody actually has to go in and test those topics one by one and waste their time. To activate this, this plugin is required com.glide.cs.atf but you don't have to go and manually do that because that would be installed as part of virtual agent chatbot plugin so there is nothing externally required from your side. Next is why do we need automated testing as we have discussed since start of this video it will be very very helpful for the developers and even for the business owners. The first one is improved quality automated testing can help you identify and fix problems with virtual agent early in development process which can help you improve overall quality of virtual agent. Next is increased confidence so it can increase confidence that your virtual agent is free of risk or any errors and it will improve the overall experience of using virtual agent. Next is reduce time and effort it will obviously reduce the time of developers and they can work on something else which is more useful. Next is easier changes so if you are making any changes into your virtual agent topic it will update your automated tests and then you can test them again using those tests and you don't have to worry much on testing part. Next is how to create an automated test for a topic we will see a demo for that. So what I will be doing in this use case is I will be creating a topic which has text input a static input and then an output response. So I will be having these three functionalities in the topic and then we will be building an ATF test on that. Let's go to service now. I'm in my service now. I have typed conversational interfaces and under virtual agent I will go into designer and I will create a new topic and I will name the topic as demo ATF Utah and then I will go ahead and create this topic. So one thing to note is that you can build ATF tests only on topic, topic blocks and small talks. I'll go ahead and drag and drop this text box and I can maybe say it as username and the prompt would be please enter your name. After that I will insert static choice and I can maybe say location and I can say here please enter your location and I can give some options maybe like San Diego, Tokyo and then Utah. Then I will print the response for that I will go here and drag and drop the text response and I can say concat message so that's the concatenated message and I will click on script here and here I can return welcome and then I can select the name of the user and then I can type 
dot here and then your location is va inputs dot location and i will save this i will click on publish another thing to note is you can build test cases only on the published topic so you will have to first publish your topic only then you would be able to create a test case on that i will click on test to test my topic if it is working according to the requirements or not so once this loads it will show me the first question which is the username and i can go ahead and type hardith here and then it will ask me to select the location so we are in utah release i will select utah and it should give me the response welcome hardith your location is utah so it's working as we had designed that now one interesting thing you would find in utah release is you can see the create test case here itself so you don't have to actually go ahead and create those steps one by one like you do for other test cases in incident change or anything so the button is provided here itself go ahead and create on this create test case it will again run the topic and then we'll again have to enter the name i will type the name again as hardith and then it will again ask me the location i will select again the utah and it has shown me the output message and then i will have to stop capturing the test case if i am not happy with the choices which i have selected i can press restart and restart the recording of the test again but i am happy so i will stop and it will ask me what name should it give to that test case i will keep it as it is but you should choose it according to your best practices of your client i will click on save and it has saved my test case now i will close this i will click on back here and now your test case has been created now you have to manage those test cases so for managing your test cases from this virtual agent designer you have to click on manage test cases and you would see at the bottom the test case which has been just created on 17th of may that is today and now from here you can run those test cases if you wouldn't have created any test case it would have shown a blank page and there would be a button to go ahead and start creating test cases as soon as i select this i can run a test here which will automatically run the topic in the back end and show me the results and it was pretty quick and if you see here it was passed there were six steps involved and all six steps have been passed if i click here i would be able to see the details of the test which atf has performed on that topic so these are the six steps which executed so the first is start topic then it will receive this message then we have to send that message as hardith and then expected message would be these choices then expected message is utah and then again the expected message is the output response and if we go into results it would say me everything ran as expected and it was a success i hope this yuta release feature was really really helpful for you it will save lot of hours for all the developers i can't emphasize enough but i am sure you would love using this functionality in your system if you found this functionality helpful please go ahead and like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well thank you